Welcome to DICTA, your weekly dose of law school and bar exam info. I'm Carrie Ann. And I'm Puyan, and we're the co-founders of Vinco. So, Professor Stout, I just got a letter saying that I've been placed on academic probation. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. That's fair. Can you help me? I can help you. In fact, some would say that I specialize in helping students in this exact situation. So, we don't mean to make light of being on academic probation. I see the absolutely stressful effects that it has on my students' life um, on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's very discouraging to hear that you are not performing at the level you want to be in law school with all of your time, money, and everything on the line. So, that being said, some people take academic probation as this, like, academic death sentence and in my experience it's not that at all it's an opportunity to grow and to do better next semester mm -hmm. so I sort of have three steps that I think you should follow if you find yourself on academic probation step one ask for help so, so I just did that you just did that right this is a good demonstration mm -hmm. of asking for help what I see a lot is students turn into themselves and become very angry, right? So they turn into themselves, they don't want to ask for help, and they want to blame the system, blame other people. And there's a whole other video out there with me saying why that's not a good idea. But for, for today, just take my word on that's not a good idea. And if your actual goal is to remain in law school and graduate, you're going to need help. So find your academic support people, talk to your dean for students, join the Vinco Facebook group. That's what we're here for. So talk to someone who can help you with step two which is formulate a plan, right? What are you going to do to get off academic probation, to move forward? What are you gonna do? What would be part of your plan? Well, I wouldn't really be blaming others. I would be, bl personally, if, if I was actually on academic probation, I would say to myself, like, what are you doing wrong? And I would just probably do what I was doing before way more mm. that, that's probably what I would do which is why step one is to ask for help because yeah, that's to what help we, identify right? isn't something. that like the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results yeah. but it's what I see all the time that would not be a unique situation at all so exactly when you ask someone for help you're also asking them to help you formulate this plan which is to step three get organized right take everything from last semester and look at it. That should be step one of your plan. What did I do? Identifying what you did. Then doing this sort of like post-mortem. What worked and what didn't work. And that person from step one can help you do that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I only did one practice question. I did one multiple choice question for all of property. Okay, well, you need to do more practice questions this semester, right? So asking for help, formulating a plan, getting organized with what you did last semester. And part of formulating the plan should be what am I going to do going forward? Mm -hmm. So we use the information from what went wrong last semester, and it could be anything. It could be skills related, knowledge related, um, time management related, timing related, whatever it is, how are you going to address that problem moving forward this semester? Definitely. So I think, yeah, for me, the biggest issue would have been asking for help. Just thinking like, yeah. okay, this means I didn't do well enough, I didn't do good enough, and I just need to try harder. Yeah, I, I mean, it was kind of a pride thing too like I just thought you know you're intelligent enough to figure this out so just figure it out because everyone else is figuring out so just just you know. figure it out yeah and that is a very normal response to have and I see this all the time but the students who actually see huge improvements in their GPAs and get scholarships back and get off academic probation and graduate with honors and pass the bar on the first try those are the people who reached out and asked for help and formulated a plan that worked for them so if you find yourself in this situation, don't go it alone. Reach out to someone who could help you. Reach out to us and make the most of this opportunity that you're being given to remain in law school. And if you really can't find someone to ask for help, brings us to my next point. Go on our Facebook group. Ask for help there. Or just shoot Carrie Ann an email at carrieann at We'll see you guys next time.